Hello Frenzy, my name is Kate Shark and welcome back to Still Life 2. So I hit a little glitch before. So I had to go back and... Half the floorboards are pulled out. So this is the entryway at the front door, so we're gonna figure something out here. Hold on a minute. Nothing. Can I not do anything with that? Okay. Half the floorboards are pulled out. Okay. I think part of the problem. It smells pretty musty in there. Musty. Okay. Is that food left this out? This food tray reeks of the chemical cleansers the killer uses. I won't find any fingerprints on it. Well, the house sounds like it's about to fit in. The glass key. Haven't seen it. Then again, I haven't exactly had much time to become a movie buff. Okay. The Blue Dahlia. That film came out in 1946, a year before the sad fate of the Black Dahlia. Hello? A matchbox. I hope I won't have to use it. A matchbox. I hope I won't have to use it. What's well, late, this sucker? Small metal or safe with a digital lock, LK model. Huh. Book on forensic medicine. It's open to the chapter trepanation. This is Claire's kind of thing. Me, not so much. There's a lock of hair being used as a bookmark. <laughs> but whose? What's well, a lock of hair has been placed in plain view? Okay, so let's do this. We will use that. A human hair, yeah. Hmm. Creepy. Okay, so. book is about nuclear war from the 50s. Oh, God. A small metal air safe with a digital lock, LK model. Oh, wait. I think there are smudges on the buttons of the digital lock. I might be able to get prints. Hell yeah. Let's see here. I think there are smudges I on the buttons of the button. digital lock. I might be able to get prints. All right, calm down. So let's do this. The rest of the prints are no good. Damn. Oh, but I can. Night is it nineteen forty six? Figure out what that is. Um, let me see something real fast here. Where's my phone? Oh. Boop, 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 boop. Hi, Vic. How goes your stroll in the picturesque woods of rural Maine? Hey. We haven't found Hernandez yet. I'm leading the investigation in the field with Garris and the local police. No trace of the killer? He vanished without leaving a forwarding address, but I plan on tracking him down. Look, I know this one's important to you, but still, be careful, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Claire. I'll be sensible. And if I forget any of the textbook instructions, Garris will remind me. What's new in the Chicago office? Everyone's on the case. Miller is pulling all-nighters doing computer research, and Kingsley is running around stuffing his face with cookies. As for the boss, well... She comes in to see me every 10 minutes. When she's stressed, she almost makes me long for our old supervisor, Browning, if that gives you any idea. Stop it. She can't be worse than him. I even got a call from Inspector Tate. He's ready to give us a hand, unofficially. <sighs> that William. 
He feels indebted since his nomination. All I did was give him a boost. It's thanks to his own skills that he succeeded. Huh. Do you know what happened to Hawker after he was fired from the FBI? Not really. I think he went into security. I'll ask around and let you know. Talk to you later, Vic. Good luck. Okay. Oh, it's over here. There's a hiding place here. A piece of wood has been moved. Maybe I'll find a fingerprint with the help of the kit. Didn't mention it so much for teamwork. Can we move that one? Looks like there was an object here. Its trace in the dust is pretty clear. Huh. Half the floorboards are pulled out. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Hey, guess what? I wanted to verify a detail in the room. Nothing important. Mm -hmm. Have you taken samples from the house, Sheriff? If so, would you be so kind as to inform me? I poked around. I'm a cop. It's my job. I haven't found anything relevant to your case. If you say so, Sheriff. Don't forget we're supposed to be on the same side. Have you found anything special in the house? Just clues regarding the local case. Nothing that concerns the FBI. Really? What's it about? We've been looking for a local hunter named Anderson. He's got nothing to do with your killer. Well. Why are there women's clothes in here? Women's clothes. They may have belonged to the victims. I guess they could have. Women's clothes. They may have belonged to the victims. Okay, but what's this? Women's clothes. Oh my god. They may have belonged to the victims. Bad idea. Okay. It's not this. This can't possibly work. Women's clothes. They may have belonged to the victims. Lock of hair. Mm. I have to find out whose. Missing. Okay, I don't see anything. What is that? This lock is half dismantled. I don't know anything about electronics. Enter room with charred door. Okay. The door doesn't look very solid. Can I bust it? It's locked. The door doesn't look very solid. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I have... Hold on. This can't possibly work. Traces of soot. Looks like the beginning of a fire. Uh-oh. Shit, I didn't need this. The thought of going in there gives me nausea. Take a deep breath, McPherson. It's impossible to open.
Did that work? Oh, this is where what's her face was. I've already seen this room in the film sent by the killer. It's the ideal place for nightmares. Entryway has been short circuited. Maybe here in Undes's work? Mm -hmm. The edge of the mattress is damaged. Bits have been pulled out. Bloodstained bandages. A test is in order. The mattress is damaged. Bits have been pulled out. Okay, we knew that. Handcuffs. They don't have pink fur, so I'm guessing they're not for playtime. There's something on this broken mirror. There's something on this broken mirror. It's not this. Well, don't yell at me. idea. Bad idea. What am I... If there's something on it, I don't know what you want me to do with it. Bad idea. Bad idea. Then what do you want me to do with it? There's something on this broken mirror. Bad idea. What do you want me to do? This can't possibly work. smudged on the glass. Held underground. <laughs> we figured that. I... Old photographs. Probably left by the former occupants of this house. Des must have passed through here to escape. It's quite a fall. There's a piece of paper in the stove. This is the flyer Hernandez told me about on the phone. Okay, so we knew that. for medications, or rather medical concoctions. I'm no chemist, but this ain't cough syrup. The pharmacist's stamp is on the receipt. Dan Wilkinson. Huh. The pharmacy is in Holton, the county seat. The sheriff might know more. Empty medicine bottles. This wasn't just aspirin. 
These are highly complex formulations. Like there's no water here. Terrarium. It's empty. But it looks like it was occupied recently. Oh. There are traces of food. Oh god. What's hanging around here? Hey, there are fibers in this sample. Fibers, okay, hang on. Sampling swap, okay. Anything else? I'm not seeing anything. What's oh I must take a sample of this clue. Okay, so that's probably this. Thank you. More blood. That's probably Hernandez again. She's in the bathroom too? Okay. Fibers from a sampling pad. Somebody has already proceeded with analysis in this room. Uh-oh. Someone's not happy. It's impossible to open. door doesn't look very solid. Huh. Okay, let's go over to the safe over here. We'll try again with this thing. A small metal air safe with a digital lock, LK model. There we go. The safe is open. It's locked. Well, that's okay, because I have this. Locks oh, of hair. Yay. They're labeled. Janet, Olivia, Susan, the killer's victims. This sicko made himself some sort of a morbid reliquary. Screenplays. The House of Terror. The Butcher of Massachusetts. <laughs> wow. An Oscar nominations practically guaranteed. These stories sound twisted. And so is the hack who wrote them. There's no name on them, though. Screenplays. The House of Terror. The Butcher of Massachusetts. <sighs> wow. An Oscar nomination's practically guaranteed. These stories sound twisted. And so is the hack who wrote them. There's no name on them, though. It looks like there's a fingerprint on them. Look who's smart. Oh, not my one. Fingerprint's not on file. I need to get Claire in on this. Okay, so hang on. Where is this? Let's see. So, Vic. Do you need to confide in your old friend, Claire? Uh... I think I have something new to help ID the killer. A 
I've scanned a print that's not in my records. I'm sending it to you. Okay, I'll look into it. Um. The local sheriff is causing me hassles. I have the feeling she's trying to undermine my investigation. Is this sheriff's name Halloway, by any chance? Yeah, you've heard of her? An hour ago. I got a phone call from a friend who works in the Portland lab. Sheriff Halloway has requested some tests of the utmost urgency. The sheriff claimed she was working on Paloma Hernandez's disappearance. <laughs> My friend called me because she knows that I've been in on the East Coast killer case from the start. Hmm. I think I should have a few words with the sheriff. Thanks for the tip. I'm looking for information on a case. An Anderson, male, who supposedly disappeared in Maine. Let me search the database. Ah, I got something. Gary Anderson, 39, a farmer. His wife reported him missing six months ago. The case has been closed by the Portland office. Everything suggests that the disappearance was voluntary. The investigators concluded that Anderson had an affair. He probably disappeared to build a new life with his mistress. Okay, Claire. Thanks for the intel. Okay. Talk to you later, Vic. Good luck. Okay, so I guess we'll talk to the sheriff then, since she's being secretive. Wherever she went to. Sheriff, I have a few points to go over with you. Listen, Sheriff, I want this to be clear. I have proof that you sent samples to be analyzed without my authority. Here, it's the FBI who leads the investigation. If you forget that, or decide to ignore it, I'll break you. Take it easy, Agent McPherson. Sounds like I've touched a nerve. I don't have time to play who's the bitchiest. Believe you me, that is one contest you'll lose. So unless you want to be charged with obstruction of justice, I advise you to tell me what you found. Okay, okay. I took two samples, which I sent to the lab. They're yours. I also found this in the living room. It looks like some kind of electronic key. That would have helped us. Very good. I hope I won't have any other occasion to lose my temper with you, Sheriff. We'll leave it at that, Agent McPherson. Alright then, everyone quit being bitchy McBitchersons. Half the floorboards are pulled out. Yeah, we know. Okay, so let me see if I can use that electronic key on the thing up there. Let's see, let's, let's try this. It's impossible to open. Then use this. This lock is half dismantled. I don't know anything about electronics. Is that on it? I don't even know. Bad idea. Okay, so hang on. In the recordings, the killer has called this the Room of Death's Betrothed. That explains the dress. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. I guess we're not getting anywhere right now. What's this? 
pattern carved in the wood. It's like some sort of insignia. I better photograph it. Okay. A military insignia. I need to ask Claire about this. Okay. Hmm. You're all right, Berber. Used a mattress. Okay. This is Claire Ashby. I'm not available at the moment. Please call back later. Huh. I have a job for you, Claire. I'm sending you a clue to look at. A pretty little wood carving. Okay. Um, I guess we'll talk to him. Found some traces, but nothing too important. Mm -hmm. You're good at electronics, right? You might be able to help me. I found an electronic lock half dismantled upstairs. Come take a look. I think I might be able to open it, but it'll take me a while. Mm -hmm. I'll get there. I just need a little more time. Okay. I spoke to one of the cops who are searching the forest. He gave me the lowdown on Holloway. Mm -hmm. The sheriff is on edge. Elections are around the corner and she's not sure she'll be reinstated to her post. Well. So she doesn't appreciate the FBI's arrival in her jurisdiction, stealing the spotlight. Brilliant. We got a creepy house in the woods and a shifty sheriff. Man, I miss Chicago. <laughs> Okay, so we know that one. Let's see here. Whoops, not my one. I want. Let's go this way. I guess we could go. Downstairs. So we haven't really looked at that yet, have we? Okay, now this is kind of where we got to where... Okay, hang on, let's look at this. Scout Sniper Platoon, okay. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do real fast. I wanna save because I don't wanna get too far along and have another glitch happen. Hopefully it won't, okay. Uh, continue. under the furnace. It's not coal. It's plastic. There's part of a name. Lee. That's a fragment of a credit card or something belonging to Dorothy Lee, the eighth victim. Okay, where is this at? This, this. this looks like burnt hair. I just saw something move, didn't I? Shelves filled with bottles. Look empty. Probably wouldn't find any great vintages anyway. There's a door behind there, isn't Shelves it? Shelves filled with bottles. Look empty. Probably wouldn't find any great vintages anyway. I swore I saw something earlier. 
There's obviously a door right there, but whatever. And out of order still. This cave was used to make moonshine. Mm -hmm. Book. It seems to be from the 20s. Okay. Okay, this is all stuff. Sentence. This weirdo is totally in character. I'm almost certain that there's something behind this blackboard. Seems very fresh. What are we trying to cover up? It doesn't matter. We already know. So here we go. We'll try this again and see if it works. There we go. Okay. It's like being in an abandoned morgue. Claire would have a heart attack if she saw the state of this room. Okay. A little blood on an autopsy table. There's nothing more natural, Claire would say. But in a squalid cellar, not so much. Okay, so let's see here. Pull this back up. Condemned door. I think there are traces on the wall. I, I can barely notice them with the naked eye. Oh. Bad idea. Okay, so then we'll use the microscope. The microscope reveals tiny traces of color on the wall. We need to be analyzed. Blood sample to Claire, she could perform a more thorough test. <laughs> oh, Vic, where would you be without your favorite coroner? What can I do for you this time? I think I have something new to help ID the killer. <laughs> I took blood samples on a lab coat from a man I haven't been able to ID. It could very well be the killer's blood. I'm sending you the results of the test I did. Okay. I'll run a complete test and compare it with the other samples linked to the case. Talk to you later, Vic. Good luck. Okay, so I know that. What's this? These look like drops of blood. Or tomato juice, I guess. But for some reason, I'm leaning toward the first theory. Okay, so let's oops, try this. Hmm. Okay, that's one of them. Let's do this again. Just because I don't want to do it every time. 
Okay. Don't nope, continue. There are marks on the ground. Looks like a heavy object was dragged from here. And you're not gonna let me do anything. Okay, fine. Janet. Janet Connolly is the third victim we found. Joyce, as in Joyce Dickinson, the second victim. Olivia. Olivia Wong, last victim in 2006. Dora. Probably Dora Simon, the fourth victim. Dolores. Dolores Wilkins, the killer's first victim. A note left by our friendly neighborhood butcher. One chance. No idea what that means. Huh. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. A lever. Maybe I'll find some fingerprints on it. Hmm. Yeah, it's hers, okay. Well, we know about. Fuse box. The circuits are completely fried. I doubt this collar is just for decoration. <laughs> These inscriptions seem really awkward. I wonder who actually wrote them. Okay. Message left by the killer. Too late. If he thinks he can throw me, he doesn't know who he's dealing with. killer who wrote these inscriptions. Part of his sick little game. Huh. The cabinet is too high. Can't reach it. Ugh. 
That's a horrible sound. It never changes. Oh, God. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> Fucking A. I don't know if I hit something. Where's that? Yeah. <sighs> Fucker. I feel better. I had a feeling something was hanging a around. A message left by the killer. The antidote is kept in a cool place. <laughs> I'm sure he thinks he's funny. Like the fridge? A message left by the killer. The antidote is kept in a cool place. <laughs> I'm sure he thinks he's funny. Thank God I grabbed those uh, things earlier. There's nothing down here except for a rat. He seems to be in his element here. It doesn't matter. It's sealed. Sealed. He's all locked up tight. It's impossible to open. That's okay. It's locked. It's locked. Okay. An electric chair that Hernandez mentions in the recordings should be right here. Electric chair that Hernandez mentions in the recordings should be right here. Huh. There are marks on the ground. Looks like a heavy object was dragged from here. this already, but... Oops. My bad. Um, I can't remember what the recordings were. 1022. I was one day off. Okay. This label's for me. Okay, I think I got the message. A label with Hawker's name on it. Something tells me the killer's not too fond of him. Hernandez's name is on the label, as long as it's just a dummy. Okay. 
So I guess we will leave because I don't have anything else to do here. something hold on check one more thing real fast and then we'll go back oh wait there is something there there's something here but i can't see a thing in this light there's something here but i can't see a thing in this light huh oh the oil lamp's empty i'm gonna have to fill it if i want some light Shit. I hate playing with fire. But I have oil. Yeah. Um, hold on. Oil, oil, oil. Whole thing with the oil can. Here you go. I don't see anything. Okay, so hold on. There are matches. Up in here, right? No other choice. Okay, calm down. Just a match. We all have our issues. Issues. <laughs> all right, let's use that. Here you go, love. There we go. The lamp is lit. One more match and I would have cracked. What is your problem with matches? Oh. Electronic lock. It keeps the door secured. Wait a minute. That's it. The door's open. Haha. -ha. Here we go for this shit. I'll bet maybe before, because I didn't have this anti-venom. That's probably why it wouldn't let me progress <gasps> anymore. Stinks of chemicals. Okay, so let's do this real fast. I'm going to save again, just to be safe. Yes. Uh, continue. It's locked. Well, of course it is. Let's just keep the gun out. Huh. So that's where that leads. Interesting. It's locked. That's alright, because I have this. Everything he needs to shackle the victims. No visible marks. An outfit like the one the killer wears. It's not my size. Um. This box has everything he needs to shackle the victims. No visible marks. It's not this. Okay, then I don't know what you want me to do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Bad idea. Well, then what do you want me to do, my love? This can't possibly work. I don't know what you want me to do. Bad idea. There's a bit of blood on the box. Okay, that's 
least one of the victims there. Anything else? Looks like that's it for now. Okay, what's up here? Oh. Okay. Two, so hold on a minute. Seven and a half. These must be Hernandez's shoes. Okay. Hernandez's purse and lipstick. Looks like the lipstick was used to write with. Hmm. A pile of retro music CDs. Oh, so nostalgic. Copies of autopsy reports on the killer's victims. They are addressed to Paloma Hernandez. The killer must have taken them from the motel room. Hmm. Looks like a few pages from a student thesis. No name, but it's on USC letterhead. USC's a university in Los Angeles, I think. I have to talk to Claire about this. It seems an interesting lead to follow. Collection of animal skulls. Are these trophies or objects of study? Both, I guess. Oh, okay. This phone seems to be working. This phone seems to be working. The computer's off. The computer's on. Bing bong. Kill her. Damn, it's password protected. Huh. Maybe I can analyze the system by connecting the key from the kit. <laughs> Security system worthy of the paranoid. Not surprising. Huh. This phone seems to be working. have been here for a while. Uh, one of her hands has been chopped off. Oh, this poor woman's body seems to have been here for a while. Uh, one of her hands has been chopped off. That must have been the hand we found in the what's it. Bad idea. An autopsy <laughs> table. Recently used. If Miller saw this, he'd faint dead away. Hernandez's blood. Uh oh. Shit. There's so much of it that does not bode well. That's not good. Hold on. Is there something over here? Alright, is that all you're gonna play? There are lots of chemical products on this shelf. Enough to open his own lab. Huh. There are lots of chemical products on this shelf. Enough to open his own lab. That's not good. Um. Oh, 
So, Vic, do you need to confide in your old friend, Claire? I mean... I think I have something new to help ID the killer. I came across a few pages of a thesis on cinema on USC letterhead. USC's a university in LA, right? I think the killer was a student there. It's a very interesting lead. I'll contact the university and get a list of possible candidates. got a problem okay so I think I've done everything I can I got nothing else right now yeah I'll get there. I just need a little more time. You're good at electronics, right? You might be able to help me. I found a computer, but the system's asking me for a password. That's more IT's feels. Hacking's not my strong suit. <sighs> All right, I'll cope. I found some sort of electronic collar. Hernandez mentioned it on her voice recorder. Interesting. Let me see. The collar can receive a signal which sets off an electric shock. The intensity is variable, but it can go high enough to be fatal. <laughs> the lock is pretty secure. Whoever put this system together is a real pro. Nice work. Good lord, you're like a little kid with the latest gadget. Keep the collar, we'll send it to the lab later. And remember, no drooling on the evidence. Okay, so we got that. I'm trying to think where else we can go. Okay, hold on, let me go right here again. I don't think that's the one I wanted. Let's go back this way, because I think I've already looked everything through here. She didn't take it before, but okay. to go down the shaft. Yuck. This fridge is disgusting. Okay, so we've done that. Sheriff, I have a few points to go over with you. 
I found a receipt with the address of Dan Wilkinson's drugstore in Holton. Do you know the owner? Yeah. There aren't many pharmacies in Holton. It's a small town. If you could contact Wilkinson now and question him. See if he remembers the client. Time is of the essence. The FBI's wish is my command. Show me the receipt. I'll call Dan. Dan? Hi, it's Sheriff Halloway. I'd like some information on a receipt from your store. Okay, good. Thanks for your help. Tell Martha I say hi. Dan remembers a man in his 40s. Black hair. Says he seemed nervous, kind of in a rush. It's a bit vague, but it's better than nothing. Thanks for the info. I better call Claire to give her the killer's description. give her that in a second here. But I have an idea. I have that sponge, don't I? Come here. Yeah. Use that sponge. Oh, what old sponge? Okay. So I could probably use that. Get the plates off that thing. ZZ 354 New Hampshire. Claire could trace the plate number. Bingo. So let's give her a call. So, Vic, do you need to confide in your old friend Claire? I think I have something new to help ID the killer. A Holton pharmacist vaguely remembers a customer who could very well be our man. About 40 years old, black hair. It's not much, but it will allow me to rule out some suspects. I'll enter it into my database. Mm -hmm. I found a plate number on an old truck. RZZ354, New Hampshire. I'll ask Kingsley to check it out. <laughs> he can't refuse me anything. Hmm, people whose last name's Kingsley. Talk to you later, Vic. Good luck. Alrighty then, so... Let's see what we got here. Find clues to the killer, enter the room with the charred door. That's the one we gotta do still. I wanna be... I've still got it. Your sledgehammer. Okay, there we go. And what is this? Oh, it's not enough from the inventory. Of course there's not, because that would have been helpful, wouldn't it? Rope. I don't know what the rope's gonna do and all that for some rope, but whatever. Let's see. a bare footprint on the ground. Okay, so then let's... Oh, I can hear the music. Um, it's probably Claire's. Oh, yes, Claire? I have a bit of information for you. The former owner of the truck remembers a name. Sort of. Something like Parson or Carson or Manson. It's not much, but it's enough to exclude the rest of the phone book. Nicely done, Claire. Better watch out. You'll have my job if I'm not careful. In your dreams, I'll let you chase the villain. 
I'm just fine here behind the microscope. See you later. Okay, so let's see. Scanner. I'll just probably... Yeah, I think that's Hernandez's. That's fine. We knew that, though, didn't we? Okay, so... I'm trying to think what else we need. Killer left a message. Dead? <laughs> For his sake, I hope she's not. Oh my god. Answer the phone, thank you. Oh my god, that is the most annoying cell phone ring I've ever Nick, heard. that's it. We have a name. Our suspect's name is David Carson. Nice job, Claire. You're the best. You can say that again. I love solving puzzles, but you're the one who found all the pieces. Okay. We make a hell of a team. Finally, we have a solid suspect. Have you found a photo? Not yet, sorry. I I'm still searching. I'll call you back as soon as I have something. <laughs> Thanks again for your help, Claire. Let's go to the intense music all of a sudden. I don't want to go there, I don't think. There's that. Um, let's go this way. Maybe he's got that thing right ready. Voila. So. Well done, Garrett. <laughs> Courage. Courage. Here we go. Well, this isn't good. Wait. Richard? Are you oh, there? Oh, shit. This is a... Richard? Flashback. Okay, since we hit here, I'm gonna leave this off. I think. Yeah. This is a flashback, so... No one. Oh. As expected. Richard shouldn't get here for a while. That gives me the time to look around. Okay. So since this is a flashback, we will leave it off here. Yes. And then I'll come back later and we will continue on. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to chomp down that like button. If you did like it, leave a comment down below with any game suggestions or video ideas that you'd like to see from me. Share this channel with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already to see other videos I've done. I will see you all in the next one.